What's up YouTube? This is G Crypto. Tonight we're going to be looking at Bitcoin, specifically BTC slash USDT. And I'm going to do a very detailed analysis on Bitcoin. Uh, this video should last about uh, 10 minutes and above because I'm going to go really in detail for Bitcoin. And I'm going to show you guys the, all the possibilities that could potentially happen with BTC slash USDT. Okay, so let's get started. I'll start off with the top down analysis from the day from the monthly to the daily to the four hourly and then to the hourly. Okay, so let's get to it. So on the monthly, uh, what we've done is we've made a parabolic move to the upside for BTC. And uh, this is never a good thing because whenever you have a parabolic move to the upside or a big move to the upside, what generally occurs is we need a retracement in order to go higher. Okay, so do keep that in mind. We made a massive move to the upside. Um, currently, uh, on the monthly, there are no retracements. However, if you look at the daily, there are obviously retracements on the daily. Now, this is a good thing that we have retraced the amount that we have retraced so far. Um, however, there is still a possibility to go down further. Okay, and I'll show you why I say that. So currently, the next major support zone for BTC is the 42,320 region. Let me be more correct on that. That is, yeah, it's about over there. It's about 41,600, right? So that's where we are. That's the major support zone for us. And we came very close to testing that area. Now, the reason why we bounced off of this area, as I said earlier, my mark was 39 to 43. And we got, we came to the 43,000 mark is because we really, um, we touched off the 50, the 50 mark off the Fibonacci over here, right? So I'll just mark that off, right? So this is the 50 mark of the Fibonacci. So we basically what we did was we came down and we bounced off that area. And so we essentially bounced off the 43,002 mark, okay? So that basically hit our target of 43,000 that I was talking about earlier. Now, however, we didn't entirely come down and touch the lower support zone, which is at 41,651, okay? Also, another thing that we didn't do is we haven't really retested this lower trend line region as well, which is also correlated with the 4150, which is the previous support zone. And that is also correlated with the 61.8 region of the Fibonacci. So the chance of us coming down there is still a possibility at this point of time. So you could expect a run to the 41,000 mark or the 40,000 or the 39,000 because all those areas correlate with this area. And it might not even happen at all. But at the end of the day, I just have to let you know that this um, move is still on the table. Okay. So do keep, that in, keep, do keep that in mind before you go completely bullish into Bitcoin right now. Now, uh, where we are currently, we did touch the 50, uh, 50 of the Fibonacci retracement, which correlated with 43,000 of the Bitcoin value. And that's what we've done. And that's a very good thing that we've done that because we have shown massive rejection in that area. And I told you guys, I believe I suggested that a good time to buy BTC would be if it comes down to this area or this entire region and it bounces, breaks past this trend line, retests, then we could see a potential higher high. And if you look at the hourly, that's exactly what happened. So we broke out of this area, we retested, we had a bullish engulfing candle and we shot and made a higher high. Okay, that's exactly what happened, which is a very good thing for us. Because in order to make a new structure for BTC, we need a higher high and a higher low. Currently, if you look back over here in this region, we had a high, then we had a low, then we had a lower high, then a lower low, then a lower high, and a lower low. So what you'd expect would be another lower high and another lower low, right? But we've currently broken out of this entirely in order to make a higher high and now possibly a higher low. And uh, I made this video in order to determine where that higher low could be okay so i'm going to give you a bunch of scenarios that could potentially come in our favor so on the four hour um, i'm going to do is i'm going to use a fibonacci from the low to the high to possibly determine the retracement area for uh, btc okay now as you see btc has gone up it's come back down and it's had a very nice rejection to the 3a2 region of the fibonacci it had a really nice bounce and it's gone back up but to me, that isn't a complete retracement. A true retracement would be if we come a lot lower down to the 50 and the 61.8. And that is over here. <clears throat> okay. That would be a very nice buying area if we come down to that area. Like right now, it's showing a lot of bullish signs. But that could be a fake out in order to come lower. Just to grab some more liquidity so people can short it lower. Okay. So that's where we are right now. This is the 50 to 61.8, which is regarded as the golden zone. Okay. And that area also coincides with 
this horizontal zone over here on the left. As you see, there's been rejection here once, twice, three times, four times, right? Four times, five times, six times. So this area is also a very strong support zone for us. So BTC, is, it's very possible for BTC to come down over here, okay? That's that's on the table currently, and that area is the 45,000 area. Now, what I'll do also is I look at the hourly to see what structure we're making on the hourly, and we made a clear head and shoulders pattern on the hourly, which is a bearish pattern. So if you see over here, that's one shoulder, that's the head, and that's another shoulder, okay? Generally, when you have a head and shoulders pattern, you can expect a break to the downside and a retest of that structure. When that retest occurs, there's a high chance of us going down from there, okay? So that's what could occur right now. And as you see, we've clearly broken down. We've hit the 382 of the Fibonacci, as I showed you on the four hour chart. We've come back up. Now we have to determine whether or not there is rejection in this area. If there is rejection in this area on the one hour chart, you can imagine that a lot of big whales are going to be shorting this area, okay? And if that would occur, our next area would be the 61.8 or the 50 of the Fibonacci. So basically the next two hours will determine if we are going down after respecting this major zone. And that will be determined by the candlesticks, okay? So right now, as you see, the one hour candlestick is extremely bullish. If it closes like this and the next candlestick shows up and it shows up more bullish and it shoots past, then this entire move will not occur and 45,000 may be taken off the table. But if the next candlestick is bearish with a nice red uh, hanging man candlestick to go to the downside, we can essentially go down to the 45,000 region. So right now we have to react to what BTC is currently doing. Uh, we may not hit 50, 45 at all, but there is a good chance we will hit 45 if there is rejection over here, okay? So that's again, the reactive possibility. Now with this head and shoulders pattern, how can I determine how far down we can go? And I'll show you that right now. So what I'll do is I'll get a simple triangle or rectangle, I should say. I get the high to the low. And now what I have to do is I can take this and push it at the bottom, okay? Right over there. So basically what happens with the head and shoulders pattern is you can measure the length of the height of the head to the bottom. And you can take that measurement and you can pull it underneath the head and shoulders pattern. And generally when it does come down, it retraces, it retraces to the length of that head and shoulders structure. So as you see, the bottom of the structure also goes to the 45,500 region. So basically, I see BTC, if it rejects this area, this structure that is approaching right now, I can definitely see BTC going to the 45,000 to the 46,000 region, and that's still on the table currently, okay? And what does that mean? That essentially means that we have currently made a higher high, which is what we wanted, and which is what I was talking about earlier. So this was the highest high earlier, which is the 48,000. We have broken that to get to 50,000. So this would be considered our higher high. If we were to come down to the 45,000 reach and we reject the area, that would be considered our higher low, okay? If there's massive rejection over here, then what could happen over there is we could essentially break out of this region and make a higher high and a higher low and a higher high and a higher low. And that's the result of a new structure. And that's what we want to see right now, right? We want the new higher high and the new higher low. And that's when also I can get more structure out of that. Because if we come down to the 45,000 region, what I can essentially do is I can essentially just do this, get a trend line out, respect that support region, right? So now we have a high high coming down here, forming a higher low, showing rejection. Now this trend line is a new trend line that we could touch in the future. If we break up every time we come to this area, if it correlates to the previous horizontal zone and a previous Fibonacci zone, then that could be a very good buying opportunity every time it touches this trend line. And a lot of people will be looking for longs, a lot of whales will be looking for longs, and a lot of smart traders will be looking for longs every time it comes down to this area, to this trend line area, and it shows rejection, okay? So this is what we have currently for BTC. So what I'll do is, I know this is very in detail, and this might be a lot to take in right now, because I am going a lot in detail right now, but just try to stick with me over here. I'll just show you the scenarios right now, okay? So our scenarios right now is essentially, if this area, this resistance area of the head and shoulder structure, if this doesn't hold, and if we break past it, essentially this could be our higher low, and we can essentially do that, okay? And that would be scenario A. Let me be more precise. We'll come back to retest the structure, and from there, we can either show the area, break right through, or we can come back down and retest the 45 region, okay? That's a possibility. 
So that'd be scenario A. So we can retest the major structure of the resistance if we break through the support, re the resistance area at the bottom of the structure. We can retest this area, and we can either hit that and come back down to the 45, or we can break right through, and this could be our higher low instead of the 45, okay? So that would be scenario A. What is scenario B now? Scenario B is essentially the scenario that we want to take place, and that would be this. This would be scenario B where we now have our high, higher low to a major support zone, which correlates to these areas over here. And that will also correlate to a new trend line structure touching it. Okay, that will be our new higher low. And that will be the best retracement, in my opinion, if we have rejection in the 45,000 region. Okay, now, what would be the bearish scenarios for us? And I spoke about the bearish scenarios earlier. And that would essentially mean coming back down from there past the 45, and retouching this area, I would say here, which would be the 41,500 region, which would be a good move as well, because that way we will get a lot of liquidity. We will be respecting this trend line, and we will also touch this major support zone on the left-hand side, which will complete our structure, and it will be in relation with the 61.8 of the Fibonacci retracement, which will be a very good area to long if we come down to this region, okay? So that is also in play currently. And just because we haven't touched this area, it doesn't mean we have to, but it's because we haven't, that is still a possibility for us to do, okay? And then scenario D is obviously the bearish scenario, which is a break and a retest of a major structure. And if that were to occur, then in my opinion, we could possibly have a bear market, okay? At that point in time. So right now, what do we have right now? Right now, we have the 45,000 as the major support zone for us. If the 45,000 region doesn't hold, and if we come down to this region, then we could potentially retouch the 43,000, and the main region would be the 41,500, okay? These are, these are our current scenarios currently. A good position to long BTC if we come over here and show rejection would be the 45,000 area, because that way from the bottom of the 45 to the top of the 50,000 region, that would be a 10% gain, I believe, right? Yeah, that would be an easy 10% gain. So if it comes here and shows rejection, that would be an easy 10% gain. So again, a quick recap of everything. We currently have four scenarios for BTC USDT. The first scenario is, since we are retesting the head and shoulders pattern on the one hour, as you see, if we were to break right past it and retest it and go higher, that would be scenario A. Um, in my opinion, that would be unlikely because this is considered a very strong resistance area. And in my opinion, we go to scenario B. Now, scenario B would be the best scenario because that would be uh, related to a major support zone and that would be the best area to get liquidity. If support B doesn't, uh, the scenario B doesn't hold, then we have scenario C, which is essentially a move back to this area, which would be the 42,000, forming a double bottom pattern, which would be a bullish pattern to go much higher, okay? And then scenario D would be the bearish scenario. So these are our scenarios currently for BTC. I'm currently waiting to see what it does at the 45K region if we come down to that region, because that is currently a good support zone for BTC. If you guys like videos like this and you haven't subscribed already, feel free to subscribe. I make a video on a daily basis, and I really hope this analysis helped you guys understand better where we could potentially be headed for BTC in the coming few days. All right. Thank you so much, guys, and have a good night. Bye.